I'm Paul James um, from uh, www.pauljamesdesign.com. Um, today, I want to tell you about a friend of mine that I met uh, last week. Um, uh, he's called Rajesh. We sat down for a coffee and, uh, what was it beer? Probably beer. And he's an artist, he's another um, artist. Um, and both him and I are roughly the same age and we both had similar sort of life experiences in the past. Um, and we were talking about gallery representation. We are talking about the state of the art world today, especially in Singapore because we're both in Singapore. Um, and what we concluded really was that uh, for people who are not represented by galleries, uh, people like us, it's very hard to find your audience for your artwork. So there is the internet, obviously there's, you know, you can have a Facebook page, uh, you can have a uh, website, Instagram, you know, Pinterest, all these different uh, avenues are available. Um, but in order to actually sell your artwork, in order to get it known and get it out there, it's actually a, a lot of hard work. And getting gallery representation is also a lot of hard work. You need to go around galleries, you probably need to hang out at art, art exhibitions, you need to hand your cards around. Um, you need to be sociable uh, in these types of events and eventually you know somebody hopefully will see your artwork and want to take you on in the gallery however what we feel is that in the Singapore system it's not necessarily how good your artwork is obviously if it's bad it's just bad and you won't get into a gallery but it doesn't matter how good it is um, you need to know the right people and it's very much about who you know um, in order to get into a gallery. Um, I should explain that, like in anywhere, in any, any other sort of country or big city, um, but maybe more so here, that galleries are expensive. Real estate in Singapore is very, very expensive and to be running a gallery is a very you know, expensive proposition. You do have you know, huge rents to pay huge bills on air conditioning because it's a, it's a very hot country here. So galleries will tend to go for you know, famous people, or what sells, you know, or very high profile artists. They just, um, I guess there's not enough uh, space for um, you know, the small uh, time artist who's you know, just painting. It's not famous necessarily, you know, um, but they have artworks, they have a vision, you know, they're skilled at what they do, but there is no real outlet for these sort of, uh, the, this middle, uh, I suppose the middle layer of, of artists in Singapore. So, actually, Rajesh and I have come up with a, a bit of a plan, which hopefully in the next uh, few months will, will pan out. Um, and our idea basically is to bring artwork more to the people. We want to create a bond um, and we want to create an awareness directly with the public, directly with the people who are going to buy or potentially buy our artworks and anybody involved in our, in our group that we're going to set up. The idea of doing this is um, to cut out the middleman, to cut out the gallery. Um, galleries are expensive high rents or this type of thing, they will take, commonly they'll take 50% of the artist's, uh, artist's um, profit, or the price of the painting they'll take 50 The artist will price the piece at what he or she wants and obviously the price will then double, um, at least double, when it gets to the gallery, so that the artist gets his what he wants and the gallery gets what they want, the 50% or it could be 60-40. 60% of the gallery, 40% of the artist, but it's around there. So automatically when you go to the art gallery, pieces there are, you know, expensive. They can be, you know, four, five, six K. They can be very expensive for, you know, what they are in some sense. 
it's an argument both ways. An artist has probably put in a lot of time in painting the piece, finishing the piece, conceptualizing the piece, you know, sketching it from the beginning. I've done that backwards, but never mind. An artist has spent a lot of time on the finished artwork. You see the finished artwork, but you don't take into account the time that it takes to come up with the idea, the sketching, the layers underneath, the uh, execution. It can all take you know, a very long time, depending on the media, depending on the way that he or she works. It can take you a very long time to produce one piece of artwork. And it's not just about the one piece of artwork, it's about the sum of your experiences up until that point. The sum of all of your art practice up until that point. Your experiences as a person, the um, emotion or the point of view that you're trying to uh, express in that particular piece. You know, all takes time to develop and all takes time to think through and plan. When you see the art piece in a gallery for instance the price is there for you know they're taking 50 percent so the price is you know maybe double mm, at least of what the artist wants for the painting what he, feel, he or she feels is worth so by connecting directly to the audience to your to your public you get to know the public public get to know you as an artist. And this is not necessarily something that happens very much in galleries because when if you have your work in galleries you're not going to be in the gallery you know all of the time that the gallery is open and somebody else is going to be representing you they're going to try and sell your artwork sure but they cannot tell the potential buyer what sort of person you are the potential buyer cannot ask you how you were feeling um, at the time when you painted it know what uh, what inspired you to do this there's no uh, line of direct uh, bonding if you like between the buyer and the artist so Rajesh's idea and I is to bring this uh, more uh, directly to the public cutting out the galleries and selling directly uh, to the public and how we're going to do this it's going to remain a little bit of a secret for the next uh, next few weeks because we're just trying to work it out. But it is not going to be just another online uh, art gallery. We can do that, but it's not going to be that. It's uh, going to be something uh, completely different. Hopefully it will work. Uh, if it does, I'll let you know. If it doesn't, I'll still let you know, so that you know if you're an artist um, out there, you can either say well okay that doesn't I had that idea too but that doesn't work or maybe you can just go well he did it that way but hey you know what I can do the same thing but I'll do it better so um, yeah I just thought I'd share that with you thanks very much I'll uh, see you again